Good afternoon, everybody. So, me and Ladessa, say hi. <laughs> We're coming to you here. We're gonna make honeyberry jam today. We've got jerky in the air fryer right now, which I'll have a video to post later for you guys, but it's a little more, um, no longer processed, so I'm gonna compile it and then I'll post it later so you can see it. Hi, Megan, how are you? Um, so anyways, we are making honeyberry jelly. We have a local farm about 45 minutes away from us and they have honeyberries. Have you heard of honeyberries before? They're the coolest berries ever. So they're just these giant plants. And these are the berries right here, if you can see. They are amazing. Me and one of my good friends, we took our kiddos down. Um, we had six kids in total, and we went down there and we picked three gallons of berries. And so we have to do something with them, and there's so many of them. So if you want to entertain a toddler for about three minutes, tell them to pick all the leaves off of berries, and then, you know, not very much gets done. <laughs> Anyways, so Ladess is going to help me. I'm going to turn it over to her, and she's going to start. We're making it in the deluxe cooking blender. Mama. Okay, Ladessa, are you ready? Okay, so this is the recipe that we're gonna use. There's an actual setting on the Deluxe Cooking Blender just to make jam. Literally, this is a touch of a button. This is my dream come true. I love this blender because I love making jam, but generally, my hands are full. Right, Ladessa? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you add it from left to right exactly how it is here in the book um, and then it beeps halfway through and that's when you add the sugar. Um, so, Ladessa, go ahead. You put in the water, please. And we're using our one cup prep bowls to hold all of our ingredients today. Good job. And we're doubling our recipe because we tried it the other night and it can definitely hold a little bit more. Okay, now Ladessa, do the, blue, the honey berries. We're using the blueberry recipe because honeyberries are pretty similar to the blueberries. They're kind of like a mix between um, blueberries and huckleberries. Then we have our classic batter, our small batter bowl here. Shake it a little. And we have two pounds of it. Okay, can you take that one with your hand and put those in? With your hands and put those ones in. Good job. Ladessa's also been sneaking eating them today. Are they good? Do you like them? All right, and then pour the pectin in. So I have a non-liquid pectin that I'm using because it's a low to no sugar pectin, um, just because these berries are super sweet. So we will add sugar to it though later. All right, so now we'll pop the lid on. Hold on. So we'll turn it on. Nice little convenient switch on the side and then Pop the lid on. Okay, Ladessa, can you put it to the jam setting? Okay, you gotta twist it to the jam. Good job. Okay, now you're gonna press start. So we have our cold side and our hot side. What do you think, sissy? Good. So this cycle runs about 30, 20 to 30, um, 20 to 25 minutes and then it's gonna beep at us, and that's when we're gonna add, I'm gonna do about one cup of sugar. Um, it's about a third of what they recommend, but again, I'm using the no sugar to low sugar pectin for this recipe. So I'll pop back on here in about 20 to 25 minutes and let you guys see when I add the sugar. All right, you say bye, Ladessa. <laughs> we're gonna work on this right here. De-stemming and de-leafing all of our honey berries so we can do it. Oh, Danny, yeah, I saw that you made strawberry ones, right? <laughs> all right, well, we'll talk to you guys in about 20 to 25 minutes. All right, we're back. The blender is beeping and telling us. Time to add sugar. All right, Ladessa, so we're just going to twist off the top here. Okay, and then Ladessa is going to, here, hold on, Ladessa, let me turn you guys around. Here we go. Okay, go ahead. Pour it in. Good job. Okay, do you want to grab it? Is it in there? Okay. Then put this in here. All right, good job, Ladessa. 
Okay, wait, wait. Then you're just gonna press it, remember? Don't turn, just press. Okay, and then we'll secure this. She pressed it, and now the sugar is just going to um, stir into there, and this cycle will run about another 20 minutes or so. So we've made a little headway with the berries. Three gallons is a lot of berries, huh guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Have you been helping? Kinda? <laughs> you started, huh? All right. Now I have time to go out into my garage, get my jars, wash them, and get ready to get the hot water bath going and sterilize my jars because my blender is doing all the stirring for me, which is awesome. All right, well, we'll be back on here in just a little bit when the jelly is ready to go into the jars. All right, final step to the honeyberry jam. So the blender is beeping, it says end on it. It's heated up all the way to 220 degrees, so I have to get them in the jars. So I'll turn you guys around and show you. Um, you can do just a freezer jam, and that's perfectly fine. I do, um, I can mine, so I can store them a little longer. Um, I usually um, send them out with my dad out at camp while he's out there. So, I'm going to take these, empty them all out. I did sterilize all of my jars, so I brought them up to a boil um, after I washed them. And then we will fill it. Excuse me, messy kitchen here. It's a well-loved kitchen, right? It's not a kitchen if it's not messy. <laughs> All right, so usually I do a couple extra jars. As you can see, I probably won't fill all of these, um, but it is nice to have just in case my estimation's a little wrong. I'll take all these. Then I also have my lids in here. So I have, um, Ray bought me a canning set. Came with this awesome, uh, magnet for my lids. I love it. It's not pampered stuff, but I absolutely love it. No more slipping. Like I always tried to do it with my can, um, uh, my can grabber, and then they'd slip through. Now, just easy, flip them right in. All right. So I do have my water um, staying at a rolling boil here because I'm going to put the cans right back in. So here's my blender, my honeyberry jam all ready. I just love that sound. Well, I'll take it off and then we'll set this down because we're still gonna use that here in a little bit. But you know what my favorite part about this blender is? No ladle and I don't need the can lid because I can just dump it right in because it's a blender and a pitcher which makes it awesome. Less mess. Oh, I just love this so much. I'm doing um, a couple different size jars um, because I like to can this for family and send it off too for like the holidays. Easy gift from me and the kiddos. All right, and then we just have a little left. So I'll fill what I can in this jar. And this one will be one that we use tonight when Ray gets up because I'll show you what else I'm making. I have the beer bread. I love this beer bread. So I'm going to put it in in our stone loaf pan in here at 350 for 50 minutes. Okay, so we'll come back to here. I have my handy spatula here that is meant just for the blender. So I'm going to set you guys down and turn you around, see if you guys can get placed in a good place to kind of see it in use here. So this spatula just came out in the new season um, back in March and it fits perfect on all of the sides there so you get every bit of your jam out. 
which makes it super nice. As you can tell, like on the blade there at the end, you can get all the way around it, which is nice. And no excess, no leftovers. Um, it's super nice for peanut butter. I have made peanut butter in this, which literally takes 45 seconds at the very most. So you can see it's already gelling up. Um, but this spatula makes it so easy. So now, are you ready for my favorite part of this blender? Besides that, you know, it's a touch of a button and everything's done. So, the blender. Make sure my water is hot. I'm going to fill this to three cups of water in here. Okay, I'm going to set it up here because I'm doing this all one-handed. <laughs> Sorry for the wonky camera here. Then I'm going to take the lid, do one squirt of soap, or you can do about three drops. Put it right here on top. I'm gonna click it, put the cap back in here. Close that, I'm gonna press cancel. Then, are you ready for this? Mind blown, heated wash. This baby's gonna clean itself. Only thing in my house besides me that cleans itself. <laughs> and in three minutes, the cycle will run. All I have to do is take the blender off, take the lid off, rinse it under water, and it's good to go. Hi, Delta. Those are honey berries on her lips, just as a disclosure. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for watching. I'm going to get these jars in the water bath and feed my baby here. All right, well, we'll talk to you later.